Well guys, so today I thought I should give you an update on my lawn equipment and uh, what's been happening with them recently. Well, um, first of all, that Pro Plus blower, I actually went to go see it in person and uh, put it on my back. That thing is just too darn heavy and for some reason it doesn't look like it's very decent quality, so uh, I'm not going to buy it. Okay, so this blower, I'm working on it. It's my Home Light ZR series that I got last year for free from my customer. Um, big problem with it, it was starting and dying all the time. So I did get it to run, but not all the time. Sometimes if you hold the throttle, it does not see, it wants to kick, but it just not getting in enough gas in there. So I don't know if it's the diaphragm or not. Like it's, primer works beautifully. And uh, yeah, and it's not leaking anymore. I changed the fuel lines from my my Ryobi 700R, uh, that one here. Uh, there's no spark on the unit, so I'm not going to uh, bother fixing it. That one, there's no problem. Discovered the problem with my um, Z825SD when I was putting on the carburetor I noticed don't know if you can see there's a big crack right over here and there's there's air coming in there so as I'm priming it gas is just not going into the carburetor and um, it will run as soon as you put gas directly into the carburetor and then it'll run and die just like Dave says but um, I don't know so I'm gonna see if I can get that part there that's broken off at my local repair shop and uh, see if I could try to film it for you guys. Okay, so here is the um, original uh, A2 10323 uh, Duraforce engine, the one I busted the piston. As you see, as I'm turning, it, the crankshaft doesn't want to turn anymore. I must have busted out the piston, probably from overuse. But. I swapped that one from the 10247 motor, so you know where that is. And yes, got my still equipment back from the repair shop. Okay, so the FS70, apparently the vibrations of this machine is normal for it. Uh, possibly because of the flexible crankcase that this has. So that was, uh, they didn't charge me for it. The blower works. Turns out it was not the carburetor. It was actually the um, dirty muffler. So you guys are right. So next time I know how to fix it. So let's give it a whirl. See how it sounds. It's on on. Awesome. That thing runs sweet now, better than last time. So now I know uh, the symptoms of it, next time I could try to repair it myself. That one cost me around $32, so not so bad. Now this FS38, that one runs too, so uh, this will be featured in today's lawn cutting video. Uh, turns out they replaced the switch. The on and off switch was faulty, but they did charge me for it, for replacing the part and for labor. when. This still was under warranty, so I'm going to start it uh, during the lawn cutting video, so you'll be happy to see that. Yeah, so, and uh, I want you guys your opinion before I end the video. Um, do you guys know anything about the still FS110? I believe it's the 31.4cc uh, um, 4 mix engine. So, um, I was looking for one and I actually did find one from the guy that I bought the trimmers from. And uh, I wanted to guys' opinion on it. Um, it's about a two-year-old model, it's used. 
It's uh, $250 they're going for. Uh, well, that's what he's asking for. And originally brand new, it's uh, 519 So I don't know if it's worth buying or it's uh, just save my money for a rainy day. So um, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for the lawn cutting video with the uh, BG55 leaf blower, the FS38, and the 5277. And uh, to Mr. Cushman, I will make uh, this weekend um, an edging video with the edger. So I'll show you how I edge the property. All right, guys. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.